it's almost as if someone didn't learn the lessons of Sargon of Akkad, Janky Uger, and Joey Salads. This is coming to us from The Blaze. Exclusive. Candace Owens tells Glenn Beck she will run for office. I will win and they won't know what hit them. That sounds a lot like Jank. Too many are scared to tell the truth. I'm not one of them. This is written by Phil Shiver. Guys, internet clout, internet followings, does not make you politically viable. It really doesn't. And this is coming from someone who got elected. I'm telling you that. And, and before you start saying AOC, she didn't become popping on the internet until after she got into Congress. That's one. Two, that woman is the definition of an ethot in Congress, okay? Which she does not have an original idea to save her life. You can hear it in her speak, speaking patterns, and you also can see it in her story. And we're just talking about AOC here. Give me a little time. Um, her brother is the one that presented her for the audition for the Justice Democrats. It wasn't even her idea to run. <laughs> so to so to sit here and like, you know, oh, well, this Internet personality got into office. Well, I can get an office. Once again, AOC is a complete outlier, first and foremost. And secondly, she's hot. Like, I mean, AOC is super hot, reg regardless of what you want to say. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, if you're like, oh, AOC is in Maxim. Hmm, I'm going to check that out. <laughs> but let's get back into this story. Conservative political commentator Candace Owens has decided to run for political office and is and is eyeing a seat right now, she told Blaze TV's Glenn Beck Thursday morning. Which seat? What community? What are you going to do for him? Because, see, that's the most important part. This is a representative republic, right? So you're representing people. This isn't about your thoughts. It's about theirs. And that... That's a big part of why a lot of these, you know, Internet personalities fail when it comes to politics is because, you know, like the Internet's worldwide. It's a global thing that doesn't that doesn't pinpoint a constituency for you. You got to go in there and you really got to, uh, you know, prove to the people that you want to vote for you, how you have their best interest in mind, not your own. Owens, 30, did not disclose exactly which office she's looking at, but declared that when she decides to run, she will win. I'll tell you something else, Glenn. I'll win, she said. They won't know what hit them. They're being dishonest, and they lie, and I've had enough of it. A sentiment in which I wholeheartedly agree, <laughs> but at the same time, you sound a whole lot like Jank Uger, all right? Owens, who grew up in Connecticut, teased the announcement, on the announcement on Twitter just minutes before joining Beck on his radio program, saying that she was honestly considering running for office, despite not having that desire ever before. Beck brought up the tweet during the interview to confirm the news with Owens and asked what factors drove her to make that decision. <clears throat> you know, I was talking to my husband about this and my frustration about all these governors and how dishonest they've been. I'm just getting sick of it, Owen said in reference to gubernatorial actions amid the ongoing virus outbreak in America. So I said, I, so I said, okay, come on, Blaze, get, get better editors. So I said to my husband, you know, I think I should get into politics. I think I should run. I, I should surprise, I should surprise run and take somebody for everything they have and expose people. Okay, darling. <laughs> I, hold on. I'm eyeing a seat right now, Owens told Beck. I'm not going to say whether it's in the Senate, whether it's in the House, whether it's for governor, whether it's for president. All right. So, like, this this, this feels like a bit of a clout chase. I feel like I've been trapped into a little bit of a clout chase. But at the same time, okay, if you're from Connecticut and you don't run in Connecticut, anywhere else you try to run, uh, at least from my eyes, you're a carpetbagger. OK, go to your home and try to make your home better. That's something that I did for <laughs> like almost for the better part of a decade. I went to my hometown, the other channels up on the platform, the official elected official. And you can see all the work that I did. And it, and it becomes rather obvious why I was able to get voted in, because 
I put in the work, I put in the time, the community knew me, the community knows me, um, my district, I, I can go through my district at any point in time, ask anybody for damn near anything, and they'll give it to me out of just straight love and GP, so, you know, like, where is your work, where are you putting in the work at, and I really believe that distinguishes me from quite a few internet weirdos, because I've never been shy about where I'm from, what it is that I do, what it is my goals and plans are, I'm, I'm very upfront about about that and so um when it comes to hey you know jay well you talk all this shit. and I, I i love getting into those argue arguments with people well what have you done what have you been about and i'm just like well i did get my senator to go from a hard no to, de to de decriminalization on um cannabis uh on cannabis legalization as well as organize several um meetings between police and uh community in order to you know really bridge that gap like and all the evidence is right there up on the um official elected official channel so there's no <laughs> I, I talk my talk i walk my walk and i back everything up ultimately and one of the things that i've ultimately found out is that it's not about me it's about the people around me it's about the people that i care about and wanting to do right by them to a point where yeah i'm i ran for county committee got the seat it's the most boring, pointless BS in the world, but it still, you know, gave me quite a bit of insight as to what it takes uh, to not just run and win because I've been doing that. I've been working in, I've worked campaigns for like the past seven, eight years, but uh, insight as into, you know, what makes, what, what the political, what pol politics is truly supposed to be about. And it shouldn't be about you. It shouldn't be about your ego. It should be about the people that you aim to represent and give a voice to in these uh, seats, in these spaces that you seek to occupy. <clears throat> but I am serious about it. I'm very serious about it, she added. We have too many people that are too scared to look people in the face and tell them the truth. I'm not one of them. Oh man, Candace, you are a adorable you really are when you know you're not looking like sealy from the color purple but either way <laughs> either ways though there is uh you know this uh, I, I genuinely believe a level of disconnect between the um you know inner the people that pop up from the internet that decide yeah i i i can go and win office one of the most important things that anyone can recognize particularly when it comes to um political office is that if you're in a race, right, and it's more than two of you, votes getting, and, and you aren't like super popular and you are like, you know, ultimately the man or lady of your, uh, of your district, guess what? Though uh, the other people will split the vote and you're screwed. It's one of the reasons why Jank you were running. I was just like, yeah, that's definitely a money laundering scheme. Cause there's like 45 people on the damn ticket. <laughs> you can't, you're not going to win against an establishment. Um, an establishment either incumbent or a uh or just the one that they've given or just the one that the establishment's given their blessing blessing to in such circumstances because if there's three you even if there's three not 45 but even if there's three of you in a race the, the other the other person that's not establishment backed will split the vote and honestly in many cases in many races what they'll do what the establishment will do is they'll field several people in order to continuously split the vote to the person that they want stays in office so i feel like there yeah there was plenty to contribute to this conversation here so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like to toss it like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you know like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments do you think she has a shot in winning she hasn't even declared like what community or or where she looks to represent like you know i'm not saying that she can't what i'm saying is that if uh history has taught us anything it's that <laughs> good luck sweetie <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments until the next one